What's going on guys? Just want to make a quick video. As we all know, the new SIG X Macro just come out, hitting the market. Big, big thing right now. Um, listen to that click. As, uh, as new guns come out, it's hard to find holsters for them. I know T-Rex Arms has a holster out, but I don't like that design. He don't have like tension screws towards the bottom, so it kind of gets a little floppy to me right there. That's my personal opinion. You have your own. What's great about America, we can all have different opinions. But what am I using? Now, first of all, I'm not telling you guys to do this. If you do this, you take all responsibility for your actions. I'm just telling you how I'm probably going to carry this gun if it turns out to be a good gun, doesn't have a lot of malfunctions or something, I go shoot it tomorrow or Friday, and uh, I decide I want to carry some, this is how I'm going to do it until I get a holster for it. So what am I using? A QVO Tactical Glock 19 holster. Um, it has a, just a little bit of play side to side, but not much. Of course, there's a ton of room in the bottom. Um, if you turn it upside down, you can shake it a little bit. The gun does not fall out. It holds in there, and there's plenty of room to actually make it even tighter. I just don't like my holster so tight that I can't hardly get the gun out. The magazine, as you can see, has pretty good tension. It isn't going anywhere. I do have the magazine about tightened all the way down. And again, if you listen, you can hear that click. That's what holds it in place. It holds in place by light. Again, just a little bit of movement side to side. None really front to back. And, uh... That's probably how I'm going to use it. Trigger guard is actually good and covered. All your triggers covered and everything. So uh, this is probably how I'm going to carry it if the gun uh, runs good during my testing. Again, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just telling you I went through, I have a lot of holsters, a lot of sidecar holsters. I went through a lot of mine and uh, this actually worked. So this is how I'm probably going to run it until I get one specifically made for the gun or until a company comes out with one like QVO or Civilian Tac or, you know, Tuxin Tactical or somebody comes out with one of these that's actually made for this gun with a light that I have or a light that I want. Um, this is probably the way I'm going to run it. I do have a Halston 507K with a TLR7A on it. Again, you can kind of hear it click in. Clicks in. I mean, everything's covered. It needs to be covered and it holds up. Uh, I just thought that'd be interesting for you guys and gals out there that may have this gun and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do or what holster you're going to buy. Again, I'm not telling you to do this. You take full responsibility. You will have to adjust the tension on it a little bit. Just make sure you play with that and get it where you want it. But um, this is how I'm going to run it until I get a dedicated holster for it. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. See you next time.